My name is Donna Stryker. My husband and I own commercial property on Valley Drive, two blocks from where Officer Hernandez was murdered. We've had multiple issues with violent vagrants and violent homeless at our building. According to the Director of Hope, Nicole Martinez, and her slide presentation at a town hall meeting on January 23rd, it is a myth that the homeless are violent or drug addicts. Tell that to the family of Officer Hernandez. We have owned the property for over 13 years, and in the last four years, the incidents have escalated substantially. We have spent thousands of dollars on repairs, additional cameras, barriers, fencing, and more. And as a taxpayer, that is very offensive to my husband and I, and it adds insult to injury. We contribute financially to the city and the county of Las Cruces. What exactly do violent, vagrants, and homeless contribute to our once fine city? I would like to request the following of the city council, an increase in patrols in the high incident areas, just like how they said, an increase in charges for stolen property where homeless are allowed to steal shopping carts and walk the streets showing off their treasures, an increase in the number of officers assigned to property crimes. This private citizen would like to request that a work session is scheduled in the very near future to address my concerns and the concerns of everybody here today. Councilwoman Bincomo, I'd like to address this to you. You told me prior to the election that a federal judge ruled that the city or a municipality that owns property cannot move homeless off the property unless they have somewhere to go. That was a ruling of the Ninth Circuit Court. We live in the Tenth Circuit Court. It does not apply here. And that's why the city property to the west of Casa del Peregrinos cleared off all the homeless the day before the election. That was very convenient. And why does Mesilla move their homeless to Las Cruces? The homeless on the ditch bank behind our property on McSwain is EBID land. There is a no trespassing request made multiple times. They were moved to the city's property, which is in violation of codes 18-2. I would highly suggest you read it. The city is breaking the law and allowing violation of its own city codes. What's good for me is good for thee. The city property owners and small business owners are outraged at the deterioration of our city and our voices are going to be heard. Our city must be safer for all of us. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead, I would like to thank the council for looking at us today. It really, really makes a difference. I feel like you're paying attention. Thank you.